welcome to another video on the CareFusion Revel Ventilator. Today we're going to go over how to access the extended menus uh, within the Revel Ventilator. To access the menus you need to have the vent on and operating in any of the, the breath modes. Um, to access the menus uh, you make sure there's no uh, alarms still up on the display screen that there are. Hit the reset button to clear them out. You're going to want to go up, hold the select button down for about three seconds, and then the standby will pop up. This uh, first menu will allow you to um, put the vent in standby mode while leaving the vent on so it'll cease ventilator operation, but the unit will stay turned on. As you can see, um, on the left is a uh, flowchart of all of the uh, extended menu uh, options uh, on the ventilator. The other ones we're really going to uh, focus on is the standby, uh, which, as I said, puts the, mo the ventilator into a standby mode while uh, ceasing actual vent operations while leaving the unit turned on, nebulizer, and the vent control. The other menus um, uh, really aren't uh, necessary to utilize for the uh, you know, daily use of the, the ventilator. Um, so nebulizer, as you can see, there's four options, neb start, neb cancel, the neb duration, and neb sync. Our alarm config, um, you can change the different parameters. Uh, of the alarms, the volume, uh, the tones, the delays, uh, but we aren't going to touch those. Those are preset based on uh, the department's um, uh, mandate. Vent control, as you can see, is the other uh, menu that we're uh, going to access fairly frequently. Um, this go into that, um, allows you to configure the rise time, uh, flow termination, time termination, the bias flow, leak compensation, and the pressure trigger. We'll go over um, uh, some of these items uh, in other videos in relation to uh, specific breath modes and breath types. Uh, the bias flow um, you will utilize uh, typically if you're trying to utilize the nebulizer function. Uh, it may give you a, an error message saying the bias flow is under 10. You would need to go into this uh, particular menu and change uh, the flow. Typically it'll be set to 5. If you do a new patient, it defaults back to 5. You would have to change it to 10 using the selector knob and then hitting select. And then to exit out of the controls, you just hit, hit exit until you start seeing the parameters displayed on the, on the display. So that is how you access the extended menus on the CareFusion Rebel Ventilator. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.